about to do an unboxing of my vintage air kit. G body non turbo car. They do the checklist as well. They do the checklist. It's very important. Everything must be in there. But I like to also go through and do my own check. Things fall out of boxes all the time. G body, so these are the most popular cars, right? So He's an option as well.
doing it the right way. I have to take all this out so I can put new clips in here for the ones that's broken. Clean up all of this glue. Welcome back to Bags on the Go. I'd like to start off this video here with just giving a big shout out to everybody. Everybody on YouTube, everybody that support people on YouTube, everybody that sit back and watch my videos every time I, I throw out new videos. Uh, I just want to say a big appreciation, thanks. Um, hey, shout out to my boy Swag, I, Steve Davis, uh, everybody that's holding it down with this content on YouTube, man. Keep doing what y'all doing. It's gonna be ups, it's gonna be downs, but we're gonna get through it, man. It's just what happens. Um, just stay strong. Hey, y'all, you see I moved. I moved to Malibu. She's back on the ground. Um, I'm trying to do all I can to get it to pay. You know, nothing's gonna go as planned, but we're just gonna try our best to stay busy. That's what working on the project is all about. Staying consistent at working at it. Someday, one day, everything will come together like it should, and then you'll be on to something else, pretty much, because uh, when I'm done with this one, I'm trying to show the world. I'm trying to show everybody that asks me, what can I do? I'm trying to show them this card. So therefore, I'm going to hang on to this one. This is going to be my very first build when it's completed, so I would like to keep this one in the stable and just show it off, you know, show people what I've learned, what I've been through for a year. It's been a full year that I've been working on the motor, working on this car. The car ain't a full year, but the motor process has been. Um, and I just want to show the world what I learned, what I've done. So, uh, y'all make sure though, y'all do me a favor. Man, I got a TikTok, Bags on the Go. Instagram, Bags on the Go. Facebook is James Bags. Uh, check me out, man. Come, come on and uh, check out the socials as well. Uh, the community section in YouTube. I gotta check out that too because I would just put pictures and little small pointers in there what I'm doing if I ain't making a full video you want to go there to check out the community section. Uh, support YouTube man. It costs nothing just to hit subscribe. Um, just do it and watch. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's back on the ground. Wheels are on the ground. Everything is moving like it should. Um, I'm looking to get it to paint. I'm going to remove the front windshield. I'm going to remove these side windows here because I got to be able to get to this corner right here. I want them to touch up this corner. This is where all the rain runs down. And then it's, 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 it's no good. I'm going to be able to sit right here and just grind away until it's all gone. So I'm going to have to remove this strip here, take this window out. I had this one. So I already had this window removed, right? Cleaned up all of the glue. I got new. I got new window trim clips. If you don't know what these are, these are window trim clips. What up? Got new ones, so these are gonna go back in too. Yeah, so man. I'm just trying to clean up a little bit around here. It's been a long time coming, but hey, Malibu's out the door. You gotta go. I'm tired of looking at it. So, I just gotta do a finish. It's just a small little bit of stuff. Now, pulling this window out, I'm looking for windows as well for these side doors. Uh, windshields are already going over the uh, back windshield. I'm kind of iffy about taking the defrost off of the glass, like get a clear window so I don't have to defrost because I'm never going to drive this car in the winter. I don't expect this car to ever be drove in the winter from here on out. 
So we probably don't take that off. That's just like some uh, some northern type of stuff when these cars have that rear get frost. You know, if you out early in the morning or it's snowing on the car, you turn that on, boom, now your window's clear, you can see out the windows. But we ain't, it's gonna make it to fall, driving in fall, but other than that, we don't need it. So I made, and it's a cleaner look too when they ain't got no defrost lines on the windows, it's a much cleaner look. So that's just what I'm going for. And now I got the chance to choose to do what I want to do, so we're gonna, we gonna try to do that. Um, so that's the game plan. That's the game plan. Um, these wheels here, I got these wheels. Oh, shout out to my boy Lucky's. Lucky, uh, Lucky Wheels of Deals. I got these wheels from uh, Oklahoma. Yeah, these came off his Monte Carlo that he had built with the LS in it. And um, he was selling these. I had these. These actually came all the way from Oklahoma. He didn't send them. I had them brought up here. So I finally had a chance to slap these on the car. I like them. They ass asses. Like old school wheels. I'm into collecting these old school aluminum wheels, stuff you don't see no more, but I like it because it, it's period correct for these cars, so why not? Uh, what else can I go through for y'all? I just want to make a little quick, little simple little video. You know, every so often we just put out more details about what I got going on, so that's all this is. Uh, everything can get captured, but we're gonna try to lay it all out on the table for you at some point in time. Um, but yeah, that's that. If I think of something else, I'm gonna turn it back on. So what y'all think about that startup? Now that was a startup with gas. Uh, last time that was just with the starter fluid, but now it's gas running. Oh, it smelled good. It smelled like a brand new car. It smelled like a brand new car. So um, I got coolant in it now. Um, I had did. I had did my uh, trans cooler lines with the A and N fittings. Um, I changed this to just this straight instead of the angle one because this was running like over here. I just didn't like it. It ain't look like it was going to be sturdy enough. I didn't want it to be leaking from the bottom. Mm. We still got to wire it all up so we can have turnkey and start up. Right now, we're just hitting it with the, with the ground cables and power cable from the battery just to get a quick start up. But... You know, that's all next. That's just where we're at right now. And I'm just getting all this stuff together right now. And next week, I'm gonna drop it off, get it painted uh, tomorrow, get this window out so I can clean up all the inner tracks, get all of this glue. See this glue? They stuck it down last time with glue, but I'm gonna get all that straightened up, get a new windshield. Get these windows out, like I said. And uh, pull the wire harness out so I can plug all that stuff into the steering wheel that we're gonna use and all the you know, connections and stuff that we still wanna be using. Get the plug them in, put the wire and stuff in the back. Just, you know, get everything tidy how it should. Run the wires for the lights up front. And that's where we're at right now. Pretty much done, pretty much done. But I'm about to go ahead and put the front end together, put the bumpers. Um, hmm, I think I may wanna paint the inside before I put these on, but, cause I don't wanna be able to see, I don't wanna be able to see the fiberglass from like a position like that, but the car, sits so low you see how the difference of this car sitting so low from when it was in the air when i put that front end on it's pretty much gonna be ground clearance this is not the right height that i'm going with but it sits so low but still you know i'm, I'm me i like to do what i like to do because 
I see certain things how I see them, man. Got to raise the front up. There's a rubbing on the wheels right now. That boy riding. Riding tucked on the front, huh? But yeah. Uh, so yeah, shout out to everybody on YouTube doing their thing. I don't care what you do. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it. And I appreciate it. So I watch everybody. Little do y'all know, I comment on people's stuff, but I mean, I watch everybody. I don't even watch TV. When I go home, I turn on YouTube to see my podcasters, see my people's YouTube channels, uh, whatever else I'm studying and watching. That's all I do until I'm tired. Then I turn that Call of Duty on or watch a movie with my lady. Other than that, I ain't watching no primetime television. Mm -mm. It's YouTube. So, man, shout out to y'all. Keep going, man. It's 23. It's time to do it big. Stay at it. Don't give up. Just work hard. Live for something. So, it's back on the go. Let's continue to create this content. And let's just continue to just get into it. So, watch me work. So right now I'm having the front windshield taken out. Um, you know, I just want to have everything to be fresh, brand new. I want every detail of this car to look like it's been touched and just resemble a brand new car. So snatch the windows out, snatch the side windows out as well. Um, only reason why I want to change the windows because this window right here got outside scratches on it. And the same for the other glasses, they just, they're old. Um, the felt starts scratching on the side windows. Uh, it leaves that long line of scratches on the outside. I can see that, I don't, I don't want that for this car. I want everything to be brand new because if I'm running AC in this car, the windows are gonna be up. So you're gonna be able to see my windows. They're not gonna be down, they're not gonna be tinted, they're gonna be clear glass. So anything on that clear glass, you're gonna be able to see it because I'm gonna wipe all the dirt off.
What they doing to it? Nothing. Nothing? You know why we went up here? So what you take it there for? I'm gonna set it a few days. Huh? <laughs> so don't start now, you sound like my wife. You know what I'm saying? What did you take it there for initially? We were there to get it painted. Uh-huh. And everything. He was gonna do the body work on it. Uh-huh. My car be there for about a year. <laughs> everything done because it's okay. it's rusting a lot. It okay. was it was actually a, a terrible time. Okay. So that white one you good you just white one is good. That, that, that's my white uh, white one is good. Okay. But I might be taking that back now. Okay. <laughs> yeah but other than that the white ones are good. But um, somebody called me from Colorado. Huh? Yeah, her husband gonna buy it for. It's gonna be her car. This is uh, yeah, uh, the Monte Carlo, the Aero Coupe. Oh, the white one. Yeah. 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 So it may be headed to. Uh, it may be headed there. I thought you already got rid of it because I hadn't seen it. No, I just I just keep it at home. I don't know. I don't never drive it. I probably took it out since I had it huh? six times. And I had it for a year now. Yeah, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. Well, I got this, I got the SS, and I got the slingshot, and we got the other car at home too, the Camaro. Camaro. So it's not like, after I'm done with this car, I don't care about none of these cars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving when I'm driving. Want me to take that off? Yeah, yeah that's got a, a little tour. I'm gonna go out to the car and get one. Yeah, so. Yeah, baby right here, man. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting rid of them all. If I ain't using them, they go. Exactly. They go. But they 
sitting around for, I'm over that shit. Birthday cards be $700. Uh-huh. Straight on that, bro. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
right, so where we're gonna leave off today. Front window is out. All the way around is trimmed up. They're gonna do more scraping and scuffing for me down there at Mako, but for the most part, it's clean, it's ready to go. Um, this is the tension area right there. That's the reason why I wanted to get this pulled out. Get this window pulled out here so, so they can, you know, scuff that up real good. We ain't got to worry about that showing no time soon. No time soon. And I took it outside, blew the whole car out, blew the inside of the doors out because I'll be trying to figure out why it's dirt in the paint. When you don't take your car apart, man, it'd be dirt stuck all up under stuff. So took it all apart, blew every corner, blew everything out just so when it's my time to get in the booth, we there, we ready. Um, see how the bumper, see that right there? I don't know. Maybe I can uh, scoot the bumper over a little bit, but still, I'm still gonna have, like these don't, these don't bend, so. I may just have them fill it to try to get that body curve, whatever. I'm gonna talk to them and see how it works. Or, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna figure it out, just a little stuff. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna keep these on the car so I can put my trim back on. Cause I think I'm gonna put my trim back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep them clips. Keep them clips on the car, you know, cause you don't wanna take these. You don't wanna take the nipples off right there. That's where the chrome sticks to. So you want to keep that on there so you can put the clips back on and everything will be set. So yeah, I uh, got the windows out. It's not turnkey start up yet. However, when, it, when the time comes, it will just turnkey and just start just so I can have them move it around the shop or me when I'm putting it on a trailer. I ain't quite figured that out yet, but I really just wanted it to just turnkey so they can move it up, move it back. I don't want them to have to push the car. I don't know, I don't really know how they gonna push the car when the car, I guess they push it when it's dry. They ain't pushing it when it's wet, so whatever. We gonna figure that out. Um, guy DJ that's gonna be working on the electrical doing the sounds he came we uh, figured out what's gonna get me to that point hook up the fan battery cable and stuff like that um, but everything you know everything up under the hood ready to rock and roll we just we gotta install everything so so it's fully together I won't be taking it apart again. It's, it's there now. Uh, I haven't made up my mind if I'm just gonna go and get the 1981 grill because they sent me 1981 headlight bezels. I guess you probably can get the 80s or maybe the 80s and 81 is the same. And so they just do that as the same. I don't know. Mines is different, the grill is different, the headlight bezels is different for the 80s from the one I just bought. So that's gonna lead me to cop in that 1981 grill just so the bezel all the way around match. Now I wanted to put a Tierra grill on here, but it's a special order. It takes this and that amount of weeks to get done. So I say, you know what? $1,500, we ain't gonna wait on that right now. We we got other areas where we need to spend that money wisely. That $160 grill ain't looking too bad right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I got everything, everything. All of that trim, everything that makes up that whole door jam, seal, all that is out. I had to protect my Vintage air, I ain't want none of that debris to get in it. So, this is where we at. So, this is where I'm ending the day off at. Uh, be more, be more soon. It'll be more soon. Just.
Trying to get it ready for paint right now. Get these clips, I forgot. I gotta take these clips off. brand new clips and uh, these clips too I can reuse them they're not some of them not tore up broken but I got new clips but yeah I'm about to go ahead and take this out and that'll be it for a minute y'all be back with y'all with some more updates this bag's on the go Thank you for watching. Let's get it to Mako. All right, y'all, I'm out. Peace.